The Narcissistic Truths Number 1 Every day spent with me means another part of your heart dies. The heart of an empath is treasured by our kind. Whilst our own hearts are black and iced, the heart of the empath radiates with fuel. It is capable of love, desire, admiration, compassion, concern, hurt, and so many other emotions which radiate from it. The empathic heart is a veritable fuel pump, and as such is coveted by us. It has so much more to it than that which we have in our hearts. We are envious of this, but recognise how such a heart is there to serve us and cater for our needs. You, as an empathic individual, also have one further major difference between your heart and ours. Yours is free. Your heart is free to choose who it engages with, who it falls in love with, who it wishes to show joy to, who it wishes to share its innermost desires and secrets with. It is free to show its pain to those that it chooses. We are jealous of that freedom. Our desire to receive the bountiful fuel which is pumped from you by this delicious heart brings with it our desire to capture it and prevent you exercising this freedom any further. Our dark hearts are bound to the venom that flows through us, to the vitriol which we spray over those around us, and the adherence to hatred, envy, fury and other such dark emotions. Our hearts know no such freedom like yours. The nature of our hearts is that they are preordained in how they will function. In capturing your heart for the purposes of fuel, we also desire to capture your heart to take away this freedom that you have. And the absolute method of removing this freedom is to bring about the effective death of your heart. We are insidious agents. Proponents of the salami slicing approach, which enables us to secure our aims through a thousand deft and delicate cuts, so that you never notice what is actually happening. We are no different in this modus operandi when it comes to the killing of your heart. The death of your heart is affected through the removal of its freedom. Each and every day, we advance our course to gain fuel and to secure the bondage of your heart little by little, as we strip it of its freedom. Through the dazzling love bombing we invade it, taking it piece by piece, so that it belongs to us. We permeate your life through our compliments, our apparent love, our fabricated passion for you, our illusory desire as you are gradually overrun and conquered. With each passing day, as we unleash our charm on you, our legions of text messages, our battalions of telephone conversations, and the marching foot soldiers of love. We take a piece of your heart and capture it. Thus, a part of it has effectively died, since it has lost that free will. Of course, entirely consistent with the notion of romance that you have been indoctrinated with, the capture of your heart in such a way is regarded as a wonderful thing. You are regarding this capture as one which is healthy, respectful, and you do not recognise that it has been predicated on a false premise. Once we have you embedded, your heart is ours. It has been captured. You no longer are afforded the choice of where your emotions can be directed. They must be directed towards us, and as alone for the purposes of our fuel provision. The onslaught continues, as, having captured your heart, we then set about our scorched earth approach through devaluation, as our despicable manipulations and horrid machinations are deployed against you for the purposes of maintaining the occupation of your heart and the total hegemonic control of its emotional output. We captured the good, the love, the admiration, the compassion, the happiness, the joy and so forth. Now, we capture the bad, the pain, the hurt, the fear, the terror, the hatred, and all other negative emotions. Little by little, day by day, we invade your heart and occupy it, making it ours, commandeering its emotional resources for our own use. 
and in so doing we strip away its ability to function in a free manner. The removal of this freedom is how your heart dies when you are with us. This happens on a daily basis, as we slowly cause your heart to die through our polluted control of you.